good morning everyone and welcome to get practical session this is amir basha and today's topic is how to publish your code in uh, to team services or how to publish your code to git service so there are two things that you are going to publish today i uh, you know i i'm going to show you in live how to publish your code to git services that is the first part and the second part is that how to publish your branch when you have created a new branch how to publish that one into git services the first thing is that when you are publishing the code to team services or git services there are few steps involved the first thing is that when you have when you have created a project in disconnected architecture first you need to go to team explorer and then you have to select publish git repo or publish the project okay and then the the second step is that you are going to verify your email account and you are going to give the what are the you no know, repository that you need to and then you are going to entering your repository and you, you are you are going to publish your repository these are the very few simple steps that you are going to involve let me show you let me switch to the visual studio first okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new project so it's purely disconnected architecture if you see i'm not connected for any kind of uh, for any kind of you know team services or tfs or git anything okay so i'm just giving the name as git practical session part 2 just it's a name that have given okay if you see over here i'm not connected i'm not creating any create a new git repository this checkbox that i have unselected means this is in disconnected architecture so i have not connected to any kind of uh, you know git services if you see these are the git services that have to connect but i have unchecked this box and i'm going to create you know creating a new project i have selected asp.net web application and i'm clicking okay and i'm selecting web forms okay if you see over here i it is in disconnected architecture even once the project has been open you know once the project has been created you can easily identify this is in connected or disconnected architecture how we can say this one is connected or uh, disconnected by simply we can go ahead in our solution and we can check it out there the lock option or the lock symbol is there or not let me show you that one once it has been created now my project has been created now let me open solution explorer if you see grid practical session part 2 so i don't find any kind of symbol like you know lock symbols over there if you see all my sessions you know we have worked in uh, connected architecture right so over there you can see all the lock symbols or you know checked out mode everything that you can find it and also there is the option if you have connected you can see over here like master branches everything right so uh these are the things we can say this is the disconnected architecture now i want to publish i have created a project i have made all my changes let us assume so now i want to publish this project okay so what are the prerequisite for the git services in my previous session like you know grid practical session 1 and 2 that have shown you how to create a you know uh, how to create or how to sign up in microsoft.visualstudio.com if you have not gone through that one you can go ahead and you can check out my previous sessions uh, git practical session 1 and 2 that you can go ahead and uh, you can sign up for the session right now if you see this the project in uh, disconnected architecture right now i want to publish my code so there are two ways we can do that on the bottom of the visual studio that you can see publish right select that option if you see that i want to publish in git services right so i am going to git services so just by selecting git option okay that i can get all these things first i need to build my code and i want to save the changes say yes i am going to save my changes there are the two things that i have to see over here when i am going to publish it what is the project that you are going to publish it git practical session part 2 you are going to publish it the first thing is that back one share your code publish it to git services right i want to publish this project 
into git repository right then so if you are not familiar with this one how to log in and how to sign up as i said please go to the visual studio sorry go to my previous sessions git practical session one and two that you can easily know what how to, how to sign up and how to create the project in now if you see there are the uh, there are the different things that team services has provided to me the one thing is that what is the domain that you want to select right so where you have to publish your code so these are the domains if we scroll down that i am having a lot of domains over there in my project right so over there that i am selecting the git practical session dot visual studio dot com and what is the repository name so by default it is giving the project name whatever i have given over there for the project right so if you want to give any kind of repositories please go ahead and give your name i'm just giving you know git practical session a uh, repository name so it will create a new repository uh, you know in my git practical session let me show you that one also okay so now what i am going to do i am just going to connect to git practical session dot visual studio dot com by using my web browser before i am going to publishing it git see over here that are already there are some of the things let me go to that one and right these are the repositories what you have if you see git practical session is the repository so this is the very old one right uh, this is the same name that i don't want to provide let me go to the you know uh, let me say repository name 2 in my thing and i'm going to publish it now once it has been the repository names i think has been created you can find out easily over here in your git repositories if you see git practical session dot visual studio dot com what are the things that have created all right you are in uh, git practical session repository let me check this things has been created or not so it is loading and it is going to be publishing a branch so finally the grid practical session 2 has been published so we can go ahead and we can check it out where exactly it is even you can click up from the browser okay see over here you can go ahead and see in onto the web now you can go ahead and you can check it out over here so so this is the way we are going to publish our code okay now if you see let me go to the home once let me connect to the you know my repositories and if you see that the git practical session and git practical session 2 and i am having test git these are the repository different different repositories that have created okay for each and everything that have created a lot of thing and now let me go to the solution explorer right you can see the log symbol over here right for everything that you are having a lock option right previously when you see this is the no we don't have any kind of lock options so that mean your project has been published and you can see what are the project that you are working and where is the branch that you have been working okay now uh, let me show you how to publish how to publish your uh, branch after creating it right now we are in the master right let me go to the sync option now let me go to the branches i am going to so up to now what we have done when we have created a new project we have published it but what are the new branches so we are having the option to create directly from the branches okay we can go for the uh, code and we can publish our branches right so we are having the option over here when we are going to from web browser we are having the option new branch but what about if i am going to create a new branch from my visual studio okay let me go through that one let me create a new branch how we are going to create a new branch as we already know there is a session already we have given i have given it how to create a new branch so if you have if you want to go through ahead please go through my sessions and you can know how to create the branches how to manage the branches as of from what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new branch how i am going to create right click on the branch and see new local branch from okay i'm going to say dev with the branch name and i'm going to create a new branch on my local so i don't see any kind of remote repositories over there so you want now you want to publish your 
branch right so first check it out this one on all the things solution explorer everything is there and you are working on the dev branch on git practical session part 2 right so if you see now i want to publish my branch to remote branches then how that is also a publish option so then what you are going to do right click on the project and if you can see you can create in uh, you are going to click on the publish branch so it's a simple thing that you know the branch has been published these things publishing your code a different one and publishing your new branch is a simple one okay so now you can see different different uh, branches over here let me refresh it once again my web uh, web browser and you can see immediately the publishing a branch over here immediately right so in this session i have shown you how to uh, how to publish your code to uh, git services and also how to create a dev how to publish a uh, branch into your git services right so if you have any queries about the publishing your code into git services or publishing your code to remote repositories i will be always available on bashar at amir 86 or that of gmail.com you can ping me at any time thank you thank you very much